Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a back to school haul. Now, you're probably wondering why, but I just wanted to show you some of the few little things I have before I'm going back to school and talking to you about what my school district's going to do and how I've been doing basically and how I feel about schools opening and basically giving kind of like a little like rant and show. I guess is that what you're gonna call it uh i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure to like and subscribe comment down below other videos i should do and with that let's get on to the video also by the way i'm going to be trying to link as much as i can in the description so i should if you like any of the stuff that i have you should be able to get it first thing i can show you i guess is this kind of laptop bag I was planning on bringing my laptop to school because I got a new one last Christmas, but I didn't bring it because it was middle of the school year. I didn't want to worry about it, but I was going to plan on bringing it for the next school year, and a lot of this stuff was ordered before the school made the decision, and as we knew, our school was planning on sending us anyway, so we were kind of already preparing for going back to school physically, but right now we're not really, so we're just going to have to wait. But these are there to use for then. But I have my laptop case. It's just holds everything we need, everything I need basically. And then inside I have my file folder I got. And it's just a little file folder. I learned, by the way, this is a little bit of advice if you are carrying around stuff. Do not get. If you don't have to carry a lot of paperwork, don't get binders. Binders take up so much space. And I learned with this, I just, whenever I need to keep, like, folders and stuff, because those can get, like, piled on. It can get really annoying. And it just gets frustrating. Especially some of the stuff that you have to have. And you can, like, slip a notebook in here or something. But I decided just to get this file folder just to hold on my things. It has about... I think a few subjects, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So about the same amount that I would need for classes because I have some classes. So, yeah. Uh, another thing I got was a graphing calculator. I haven't had a graphing calculator yet, but I decided since as of when I ordered this that school was going to be open, I didn't want to have to use the school calculator ones because those are disgusting and they probably wouldn't clean it. So I decided to get a graphing calculator and who knows whenever I ever need it. I probably will. I took geometry last year and I'm going to algebra two this year because that's how my school does it. It goes from algebra one, geometry, then algebra two, and then another math class of your choice. I decided to, it's never too bad to have a graphing calculator, especially in algebra, I'll have to find slope or something. So it's not that bad of an idea to have just a graphing calculator just to have. And it's better than having those stingy ones and dirty, musty ones that the school gives you. I have a lot of stuff in here, so I'm going to be showing you some of that. I have a pencil sharpener because I'm going to be working at home and doing stuff at home. and. I'll have to use paper and pencil no matter what, even though a lot of my work, most of my work is going to be online. I'll still need to have a pencil sharpener. So I got this, this simple one. It's by Bozitech. My mom got it when from Walmart. She got it when she did her grocery pickup. Just a little simple pencil sharpener, electric one, so I don't have to worry about it. I'll probably set this on my desk and put the batteries in it. So I'll probably keep that information. And then inside, oh, it comes with batteries. Does it? Oh, no, it comes with a cord. Oh, it comes with a cord to plug it in. I thought it came with batteries or something, but this is just a cord for it to plug in. So I'll have to find a place about that. Um, next, I have some books. I decided that I wanted my notebooks to be pretty. I found this set on Amazon that was like these pastel ones and they're so cute. And they're college rules, look at them. 
this one's like a little this one's like a little yellow and then I have this blue one this like mint green one this lavender one this orange one and then a pastel pink one and I was really happy to find these because I wanted my school supply stuff to be at least a little cute because I find if my stuff's cute it enables me to be more productive so I decided to just get some cute like pastel colored books and I thought it would be nice just to have something nice even though this year is terrible might as well have something nice um rest of this is just college ruled paper um, I don't know it's there for when I need it I don't like using the little world I like using the college ruled now because it enables me to have a lot more space and kind of hack thing if you're doing a like type of essay thing in school and they're only allowing you to have a certain amount of page numbers get the college ruled if they don't have you have a certain use a certain paper to use get a college rule gives you so much more room i have a habit of overwriting so it takes me more than usually the amount they would tell me so i usually like overwrite and kind of get yelled at for it but it's okay <laughs> I just have a tendency to overspeak. It's okay though, we're all used to it. Um, next thing I have, just a basic ruler, you know. Why not? Gotta learn how to do some things. And then I have post-it notes, because you never know when you need a post-it note. Index cards, and then a twist and sharp pencil eraser. Same brand that comes in with that one. And then I think in that one, it's pretty clear. Ah, here we go. I have my little bag from last year. I use this for my uh, just essential things. Um, what else is in this backpack? Oh, here's one thing. I got this at Gordman's. I had a Gordman's open up in my town literally right before quarantine really hit and it was when my Gordman store opened up but then they announced they were shutting down because the whole company kind of went through this type of thing lost bankruptcy type of thing so everything was on sale so I got this little book agenda thingy it has an A on it for my name and it comes with a little like weekly to do calendar comes with just a little place to put your stuff in, post-it notes, sticky notes, and just everything you need. I thought it was a good idea just to keep everything in order when I'm in school if I need to write something down, write down the to-dos, just keep little tabs of writing stuff. Because sometimes you just gotta jot something down and even though you think you don't need it, you absolutely do. This is my backpack, by the way. It's just a Jansport. I love Jansport bags because they're so versatile and they stay good for a long amount of time. I've had this for, I got this last year and I decided to reuse it again because it's still in good shape. And uh, my mom already cleaned it and everything. She cleaned it as soon as I got back from school, the last day of school that I had. So it's fresh and clean. So it's really nice and just a little basic star backpack. I thought it would be a nice thing because it's black, it won't get too dirty and it's not like you'll have any issues with it because of whatever it is. It just basically can grow with it and it's not like childish and you have to get a new one like every year, if that makes sense. Um, next thing is kind of the clothes type of thing. I didn't get many clothes for this school year. What I thought was gonna happen was I was only gonna go to school for a certain amount of days in a week, or I just have too many shirts. I have too many shirts and no pants, so I decided that for this summer type of thing, I was gonna wait till the fall to get new shirts, that I was just gonna wait and get new t-shirts and stuff. But I decided to get new pants. These were one of the pants I got. I got these from Target. If you watched my how I style my clothes type of vid, I showed you how I style my different things. 
I'll link a card to it right here. And then I basically I shop a lot of my stuff from um, Target. I am plus size, as you know. So clothes are typically kind of hard to find for me. And it's typically kind of hard to shop for my body type. So I kind of have a hard time sometimes finding stuff that fits me and fits in the aesthetic I like. I have a very muted, soft, cottage cork type of vibe. And it's kind of hard to do that when you're plus size because the aesthetic's kind of skinny. So I basically, what I do is I find nice pants to style with and just nice tees and muted tones. Basically try to fit it into my style. I'll find some dresses here and then, but I like to keep it kind of like flowy, kind of like the shirt I'm wearing. This is like a flowy baggy yellow shirt. I used to not like this shirt. I got this at H&M. I used to not really like this shirt, but I do now because it's a flowy baggy. It reminds me more of fall, but today I decided to wear something yellow because I have a more yellow on here. By the way, a <laughs> um, little side to everything that's in my channel, I guess. If you notice, I try to look very nice in my videos. I wear a bunch of different colors. So, fun game. Comment down below what you'll think I'll wear in my next video, I guess. But, anyways, besides that, I got these pants. They're, they're kind of like a grayish blue. They're a uh, baggy leg. I love little shirt baggy pant so i like to use that up and it's just a basic long pant and it fits really good i tried these on already even though the tags are still on i just haven't taken them out yet i also got a pair of a darker wash blue jean i have a light wash blue jean it was the first kind of like straight leg pant i got I got it for my birthday, I got it and ordered it, and I really liked it. I really liked the straight leg pant kind of feel. So this is just one of them. The other one was a light wash, and this one's a medium wash, so it is pretty good. And I tried it on, it fits pretty well. When I first tried it on, I felt really insecure about myself and had a breakdown of another day for another topic. But I tried them on and I didn't like how they felt on my body and I already took the tags off of it so I was like, I'm screwed. But I tried them on another day. It was the next day I think. I was feeling a little more better about my body. And it fit really well and I really liked how it fit. So these are just a basic medium wash. I think they're really good to have in your clothes to have just a light wash, medium wash, and a few darker pants. My darker pants consist more of a um, dressier pant and they're not like a blue jean type of material which I really like having more of a dressy type of pant sometimes than a jean but sometimes a jean just really works really well. I also got a pair of corduroy pants that caused my breakdown the other day but I they're in the wash. I wore them when I went to see my grandparents for the first, last time in a while. Safely by the way. And I wore those. So I'll insert a picture right here of how they looked. I really liked them. But I'm also supposed to be getting in some sweaters that I got from H&M. I wanted to add some more sweaters because as I said in my house style video, I really love layers and I really love layering things. So I decided to get a few sweaters because I feel like that's what matches the like cottage core aesthetic the most to my body type. So I decided to get some of those. They haven't came in yet. They're supposed to be in today. But it's already almost 4 o'clock and they still haven't came in yet. But it's also pretty much raining a lot. So that might be the reason why. But if they come in in time, I'll insert a clip of it right now. Hi, so I was going to film a clip of me like showing you the clothes and everything. But then I started not feeling really well. I'm not sick with corona, I promise. But I just did not feel well. And I didn't feel like filming it. I, I looked like a dead zombie. So I'm sorry about that. But they did come in. I was really happy with them. And I'm really happy with it. If you want to see what they look like, I suggest going on to my Instagram. I'll probably show a picture of that once they're washed and being worn. But if you want to keep up with me, also follow my Instagram. Okay, thank you. But that's pretty much about it for my kind of haul kind of video. 
It looks a lot when I'm looking at it from my bed, but it really isn't, I guess. I think more of it was just me talking, as I always do. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below other videos I should do. And with that, I'm going to go. Hopefully my H&M shipment comes in. And I love you very much. Goodbye. Mwah.